Good afternoon, YouTubers. Reloading bench back with you once again. Let me get my supplies together here so I can tell you what I'm up to. So I took off. It was paint day too. I took off the screw and I'll just call this the clip where a finished hull hits and then goes into the tube hole on the 366 and more often than not it doesn't even go into the hole so uh, I'm going to implement an idea of extending this screw uh, I will have this at the bottom of this spacer just like it normally is and I will have a longer screw now holding the spacer in and I'm going to make something like a hook out of brass my favorite material I have some old brass rod I picked up some new brass rod some thicker um, and I've got some copper wire that I think I'll use as a uh, template in trying to bend my hook so uh, the idea is to use this jig and maybe it's not so in focus or in in frame I guess is the better phrase um, my first thought was you know let's just figure out what I want to do with the bends so um, I would have uh, probably you know obviously this wouldn't be here uh, so this would get cut and I'm going to play with this jig and this copper wire to experiment a little bit and there's no sense of showing you my experiment because all I'm going to be doing is test bending but uh, the idea is to come, put, come up with some kind of hook that um, catches the round and prevents it from uh, falling over, tipping over, and then forces it into the hole. Uh, when I have a little bit of a better idea of what I'm trying to make looks like, I'll come back and show you. Back in a bit. All right, so this is kind of what I'm thinking in terms of being able to grab or prevent from uh, falling over. So that would sit atop this, obviously with a, a loophole here. So I'm going to practice on some uh, some old brass rod. Uh, this is thin, maybe too thin. This is thicker, probably the great, greater of the two thicknesses. And uh, it looks like mine is uh, eighth of an inch by, uh, if that's six, I've probably got... Uh, about 11 and some 11 and change and it looks like I'm gonna need about six So we'll see how that works out uh, back in a while All right, I moved this a little closer to me for comfort. This is my uh, Initial this would obviously get cut off, but uh, I'm using this to grab onto things if you can see and uh, trying to get my initial bend to be similar again I would cut it right about there. Still have some tweaks to do. And uh, this is stiff. Stiffy, stiffy, but uh, progress. What an afternoon. So that was the prototype. And this is the working model. Uh, slight difference, huh? Especially when you have to clear all the uh, other dies and tight spaces. So. Um, I was going to grind the screw down and brass is such a malleable material. I had to cut it and then thread the end so that uh, it would go back into the press. So what we have is this into this into that and that's the idea. And I'll clean this up, polish, blast it, 
level it and uh, show it to you on the press. Say what you will about this press, but I think the single weakest feature is how it ejects a finished hull and uh, this spring, little spring right here plays a very pivotal role. Okay, I am not only calling this project done, but I'm going to call it reasonably successful, a lot more successful than my last attempt at working something with brass. So as you can see, this is this is on there. Uh, this is a bronze post, spacer actually, 10, uh, 1032 screw, brass, roll in that. So I did some reading online, took someone else's concept idea and kind of ran with that. And the whole idea is, usually doesn't work on film, so I'm going to go get ready to catch this as I step on everything in the freaking garage. So... That's the idea. But if I do it real time, it won't work. It'll do that, which does that before I did that anyway. So I think that's the weakest part of this press is uh, how it handles spent. Do it with the handle here in a second. Okay. So a day's worth of tinkering for not. And it actually worked. Okay, so that's the idea. Uh, I'll probably keep it because most of the time they don't even go through the hole with this little spring here. And you can adjust that spring and whatnot. So this is my uh, brass rod solution uh, with a bronze riser and a 1032 uh, brass screw trim down so that I could uh, seat that. So I'll leave it. Uh, it's better than nothing, and it's somewhat flexible in, in the sense that flexible that I can move this around uh, the wire, or at least the uh, brass rod is pretty, pretty stiff, and it's got uh, like zero clearance between this and the decapping die. So uh, I tried to give it as much catch room as possible. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, unlike my last outing with brass, this one is at least a, a little more reasonably successful. Um, this is what would happen in reloading, and uh, that would actually be tighter in there. And if I were to pull the handle, which I will do shortly, I'm going to just throw this giant bin in the back to see if something gets caught. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm expecting, or at least what I've been working on all afternoon, and there we go. 